This is your tuck sink. Your dog's going to start in a square stance and without moving their front paws, they're going to engage their core and their tummy and kick their rear feet in underneath them. Over here. Okay, right here. Okay. So you're going to lower your dog up and forward, just like that. Okay. And we want her elbows in a straight line over the wrists, both paws facing forward and directly below the shoulder. And we want both of these ankle hock joints tracking forward and not rotated and not rotate it out. And we want this knee directly over the toe. And the back should be flat. Good job. Maggie, right here. Yes, good girl. If your dog is having trouble keeping their front paws still, you can put those front feet on a target and then ask for the tuck sit. It does require some core strength from your dog, and if they don't have that built up yet, they may move their front feet to compensate to get the behavior that you want. So it may take you a week or two for your dog to build up enough core strength until they're ready for you to remove that front foot target. I also want to make sure your dog's neck or spine isn't twisted off to the side as they're getting their reward. So your reward placement needs to be right in the midline of your dog's body. Yes. Good. And we're going to do a nose touch to release our dog off of our platform. Good girl.